How's it going, everybody? My name is Salty, and welcome back to the channel for some more Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the number one QBZ class setup here in Season 1. Now, if you guys didn't know, I actually stream over on Twitch almost every single day. Uh, you guys can get a sneak peek at everything coming to the channel a little early. You get to see all of my class setups. I get to use some of your class setups. Sometimes I play with you guys. Sometimes I run some custom games. We do a whole bunch of stuff over there. The link's going to be pinned down in the comment section down below and also in the description. I look forward to seeing you guys there. Starting us off here with the optic, I'm not a huge fan of the iron sights here with the QBZ. I find I lose my target a lot, so the mill stop reflex is the best option for me. Yours can be any, really anything else you want. It's just a big preference. Choose what you feel comfortable with. For the muzzle here, I go with the SOCOM Eliminator. You get that 17% vertical recoil control, which is the big one here. Makes the recoil basically go down at that point. Where the QBZ struggles is in that damage range category, which is exactly why I go with the takedown here. You get 150% effective damage range. For the body, I went with the Tiger Team Spotlight. It just makes your enemies more visible, puts a little dot above their head. So if maybe you just don't see them in a dark corner, it'll definitely make them more visible. So you guys can quickly turn back and shoot them. For the underbell here, I was going with the S FOD Speed Grip. You get 15% horizontal recoil control. All the vertical recoil control was taken care of with the muzzle, so all that was left to cover was that horizontal, and this fits that bill perfectly. For the magazine, 50 round fast mag. You guys can really run whatever you feel comfortable with here. 50 round fast mag just seemed to work for me. I felt extremely comfortable running around the map with a lot of bullets, also having the ability to reload extremely quickly. For the handle here, airborne elastic wrap. There's not much needed to say. It gives you the most aimed on sight time out of the rest of the wraps here. And having snappy aim is extremely important if you're going to be taking close to mid-range gunfights. And finishing us off here with the stock, the Raider pad, 30% sprint to fire time and 40% aim walking movement speed. The QBZ is by far the most mediocre weapon in this game. It can sometimes be absolutely amazing and other times be absolutely terrible. I have had a hit or miss relationship with this gun since I've been grinding Dark Matter Ultra. As you can see, I did unlock that. And I, I, like I said, it's a hit or miss relationship with me, but this is the best class setup that I could build on it. So definitely let me know what you guys think of that down in the comment section down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to 3000 subscribers and rapidly approaching that. So I would appreciate you guys help the cause. Make sure you guys hit the like button if you enjoy and I'll catch you at the end. All right, we're rocking out with the QBZ over on some pines. This is probably my least favorite map next to Miami, honestly. But there needs to be some variety. So, so I will definitely play the map to give you guys some variety. That was a nice little flank there. He's sniping him dead. Not dead. I'm gonna jump on this here. Dang, my team's running through him. Yeah, we're gonna UV up. I know he's over there, but I'm gonna focus over here. We're both right there. Another one. If you didn't know, this is a very good spot for challenging A flag. Hit this right away. Alright, we're gonna put this away. I am so weak, get me away. Okay. 
It's a good shot on my part, honestly. That was an unideal time for him to leave the party. I believe that's all of them. Alright, they're at C. We're gonna sit here for a second. Kind of put myself in a weird spot unintentionally. have that I'm gonna fucking not the time for them to have a spy plane but if the lever running goes so alright they have B so I'm not exactly sure where he's gonna be nice teammate I'm not 100% sure where I'm supposed to be looking. Perfect, we got a spy plane. Okay, one there. The wind's in sight. Maintain that momentum. 27. We're gonna, I really don't wanna go into the next round. Like this, but we're gonna have to. I'm not gonna risk it. Yeah, we're not going to risk the push. All right, 30 0, heading into the half. Now, I know exactly where they're going to be. I'm just not sure if I want to push it right away because it's going to be a sketchy push. They're all going to be there. So, I think what I'm going to do is take the flag and kind of wait on them. I think that would be the better bet. They're going to be right here. See what I mean? I knew they were going to be there, too. He almost killed me. We're out. Nope. We are not challenging it. There we go. We got the nuke. Well, we died right after, but that's completely okay. He had a type. He was going to smoke me either way. We got the nuke. That's all that matters. Now let's see if we can get a little more aggressive with it. I don't know where that is. I know there's a trophy system, that's why I didn't use the war machine. We're already on another 10 here. Getting used to this QBZ. As much as I don't want to admit it. 
No, no, get me away. I almost died of that. Happy this kid didn't see me. Nope, that's a sentry gun. We're gonna jump down. Go this way. Well, we challenged it. We went risking it for the biscuit and we lost. It's okay. I'm hoping they kind of get B, make the game a little longer. See if my teammates agree with the whole letting him keep the flag for a second. It's gonna be a probably not, right? Hello! Dude scared the hell out of me. Unlucky. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't think they were going to be there. I thought they were all going to be there. If we can at least get 60 here, that'd be cool. Okay, that grenade just followed me. I don't know if I'm going to get the 60. There it is. There it is. All right. That's going to be the end of the game there. 61 and 4 with the nuke with the QBZ. If you guys enjoyed the video, you guys can make sure you hit that like button for me. That'd be absolutely awesome. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you also hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.